Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to separate a mixture of salt and pepper with just some balloons and your full head of home experiment you'll need salt and pepper, evidently. Uh, you will need a colored notebook to make sure that the salt does not camouflage with the paper when you're doing the experiment. And you'll also need a balloon. Any balloon will do, ideally something that's round. Um, and yeah. Let's begin the experiment. In your experiment, you will take your colored notebook and keep it flat on the table. Then take your salt, I mean, take your salt and take your pepper and mix it in the middle as a mixture of salt and pepper. This ensures that it's completely random. I have not rigged this whatsoever. There. As you can see, we have a mixture of salt and pepper in the middle here. And now we have our balloon. I already blew this up. Um, if you want a tutorial on how to blow up a balloon, I'll post that in my, in my next video. But after you blow the balloon up, you want to aggressively rub this on your head. Like, really aggressively. So, let me demonstrate. After rubbing the balloon for, af for approximately a minute, um, place the balloon right over the pile of salt and pepper and see what happens. Observe what happens. As you can see, some of the salt and pepper has stuck itself to the balloon and some of it is still remaining on the notebook. Now, what does this mean? Why does this happen? Why were we able to use only a balloon and our head of hair to separate small particles such as salt and pepper. Here's the explanation. When you rub a balloon on your head or on a woolen surface, it gains electrons. There's lost electrons in the fibers of your hair and clothing that get attached to this balloon when you rub on it. This means that this balloon will have a negative charge because electrons carry a negative charge. So, since this balloon has an excess negative charge, when we place it over something such as small pieces of salt and pepper, any particle in that combination of salt and pepper that is positively charged will stick to this balloon. Now, why is that? This is because of, I think, most people should know that like charges repel and unlike charges attract. This is magnetism, probably learned this in third grade. This works for electri electricity as well. The particles that are charged negatively stay on the notebook and the positive charges rise up and stick to the balloon due to the attraction of unlike charges. This is a very simple yet powerful example of how electrostatics works. Um, to make sure to make this experiment more fun, you can use other pieces of other small particles and use different sizes of balloons and see how that works. 